Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Now this is the Cable Twist Hat. This is a fabulous design. This is a revision of the original uh, tutorial that was done about a year or so ago and uh, there was some mistakes in that particular tutorial where I put annotations on top and this tutorial is the redo of making this hat all the way from scratch. So we're gonna be doing some uh, cable work today as you can see in the twist. We're gonna be following the design. You should know that this is also being redone, redesigned or redone here as a tutorial because there's now a sister hat that goes with it. It's the exact same twisting that you see. The only difference is is that this goes to round eight and the top shaping this goes all the way to the ten. So the only difference is that this one stops two rounds earlier. So if you know if or if you know how to do this or you've done this you can definitely do this. Either way it's not a hard pattern and in today's pattern uh, what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm gonna be showing you some diagram work that I've drawn for myself that I'll make available to you on this pattern on the crochetcrowd.com and this is the stitch work and the stitch key. I explain this as we go in today's tutorial and then we be able to move along and then carry on. So I've just made a diagram to make it easier to show a visualization of this whole thing. So let's get started on doing the cable twist hat with you today. So let's get started today. We're gonna create a slip knot and I'm gonna show you a little trick because you can't twist your chain up um, when you go to start for the very first time. So I'll show you a little trick. So if you chain in a way that it makes sense then you don't, won't have any twists. So let's just do 10 together. So you need to do a total of 72 if you're following the pattern. So 72 is the answer but let's do first 10 anyway. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Once you have 10 drop it. Okay just hold on to it and insert your hook into the very first stitch. Okay into the very first one over here and then put that other one back on. No you're not finishing it off earlier but if you have it on here right now you're going to continue and you're just gonna continue. So uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, nine, uh, 19 and 20. So you're gonna go all the way to 72. The nice thing about this, this helps uh, keep the chain from twisting on you so, and it's just an easier way to get started right away instead of having to worry about your chain all twisting up. So go all the way to 72 for me and I'll see you here in just a moment. Now that I have my 72 on I'm all I'm just gonna do is once I have the 72 I am going to then join it to the very beginning which is this one. So just pull it through and through. Just like that. It's that simple. So because you've been doing it and you had it on here this chain should not be twisting up on you and if it is it's uh, just uh, quickly untwist it and then get ready and we're gonna go for round number one. So in round number one in all other rounds the very first chaining of two is just a, a builder. It doesn't count as a stitch and please do not count it as a stitch. You're then going to move on to the next one and you're gonna double crochet yourself into the next chain and you're gonna double crochet yourself all the way around on this chain making sure that you do not twist this chain at all. So we're just gonna quickly review to make sure that you're not twisted at the end and what you're gonna do is just do that and then you need to verify that there's 72 stitches on here when you get all the way back around. If there's more than that or less you're gonna have a problem. Do not count that um, chain two as any stitch though that's a builder. So please double crochet in each stitch going all the way around. So I'm now all the way back around. So what's gonna happen is that I counted 72 as I was doing this so it's all good. Do not count that chain two in the very beginning as a stitch. It's not a stitch. So when you go to join you're gonna go to the top of the first double crochet so it's gonna look like you're going into the second one over and you're just going to join it with a slip stitch like so. So you should be able to count 72 without that uh, chain two as being part of it. Let's move along to second round. In second number round we're going to chain two. You can see that we're always chaining two and you can get this diagram on the crochetcrowd.com. I'm gonna put a, a link with this article as well. So what we're gonna do is that you can see that there's different symbols and so we're gonna start off with two front posts. See how it's uh, linked this way? So they're gonna be two front posts, one back post, two front posts, one back post, two front posts, one back post and etc. And what we're doing is that we're establishing the ribs right off the bat and then as we come even further is that we're going to do an expansion round then in the next round. You're gonna notice things are gonna start compressing together as you do this. So let's uh, begin and start our established pattern in order to make this work. So let's begin round number two. 
chain two doesn't count as anything. Okay, so it's gonna be a builder. It's gonna look like it's part of a stitch but it's just there. Okay, so just don't uh, forget that's gonna be there. So your first one is actually right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do then is then we're gonna start off with two front posts. So to do a front post you wrap the hook first going into the side of the stitch on the front side of the project and then pull through and then pull through two and two. That's a front post double crochet. You're gonna do two of those in a row. So let's do another one. So wrap in through the side, pull through, pull through two and two. The next one is gonna be one back post double crochet by itself. So wrap in the hook, come around the back and come through the side of that post, bang it out through the other side. So it's just on the other side, pull through, okay, and then pull through two and two. Okay, so let's go over the repeat pattern for this uh, particular um, a row. So the next two are going to be two front posts. So one, so it's gonna be one front post in each, just like that. And then the next one is a back post double crochet. That's what you're gonna do for this entire round as you go. Okay, so does that make sense to you? So see you're, you're creating these ribbing looking right off the, the hop. So the next two are then front post double crochet. Just like that. And then the next one is one back post double crochet. So please continue that same pattern. You're gonna notice that it's not looking the same as it does in the pattern and that and the reason for it is that we need to get to row number three before that can even start even remotely looking the same. So let's uh, continue that. So two front posts, one back post, two front posts, one back post. When you come all the way back around the last two stitches will be in the front post and then you're just going to slip stitch to the first uh, front post double crochet. So this is the chain two. Don't worry about it. Just go right over top of it and then that completes that. So the hat is not the full width yet. We still have to uh, expand it. You'll see that there's ribbing going on here but we need to expand our ribbing in round number three and I'll show you how to do that next. So we're gonna move on to row number three. You will notice that there's no back posts left anymore uh, that you see here as we move up for these rows. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna match exactly what you see. So the two front posts will be two front posts again. The next back post will be a half double crochet and then two front posts again on these front posts and then a half double crochet. So the game plan changes right here. This is where the cabling is going to happen here. So we're gonna do two front posts. The next one is gonna be two into the same one to give it to uh, to make it two and then there'll be two here. So we're gonna take five uh, double crochet posts here and make them into six by doing two into the middle one. We then continue along and this will be the break that's in between the cables and then we cable again and we're looking for the middle one of the group of five to have two so that we can continue that pattern. Let's move on to round number three. So refer to my diagram if you need it or go and look at the pattern if you need extra verification. Getting started is almost the hardest part on these things but once you get it started it actually is really quite simple. We're gonna chain up two. Remember that doesn't count as anything. It's just a, a builder. And so the first two as I mentioned before is a front post double crochet. So we're gonna maintain that to keep those ribbing looking outward. The next one is going to be a half double crochet. So it's currently right here is a back post. So it's gonna be a half double crochet to keep that sunk in behind and just like that. The next two are front post double crochets. So one and two. And then the next one here is a half double. Okay, so that keeps that sunk in behind as well. So here is the next group. So this group here is where your cable is going to appear. So the first two are front post double crochets. We can see that here. Okay, so one and two and look what's gonna happen in this one. This back post now is going to become two front post double crochets. So just gonna go in and make one and go in and do it again and make it two. Okay, and then the last the last two of that is gonna be a half double crochet. So then we just converted these group of five into being six by doing that and now we're making the cable look like it's gonna pop out. So we're gonna continue then as we continue as we go. So the next one is half double crochet. I can see it's a back loop already so it's just an easy way if I just say oh that's a half double crochet no problem. And then the next two are front post double crochets 
and this is not one of the cable lines going up. So I just maintain what's there. So the next one is a half double crochet. That was a back post last time. And then the next two are front post double crochets. The next one is a half double. And now this is again one of the cabling going up. So you can see that the cabling is every other group of these groups. So let's uh, just quickly review on how to do that once again. So the first two are gonna be front post double crochets. You're maintaining what's already there. And then the middle one, okay, this one now becomes two front post double crochets. And then the next two stay a front post double crochet. So that group of five just became six. And then the final one after that is gonna be a half double crochet into that, that one that's currently as a back. Okay, so what I want you to do is maintain that going all the way across, or uh, all the way around, and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming up all the way around. The last section just before you get to the final point is going to be a cable round going straight up. So then the middle one here is gonna get two front post double crochets. So if that's not where you're ending up right now, something is wrong with your stitch counts, make sure you do go back and double check. Just like that. Okay, and then once you get that last one done, just slip stitch it to the top of the first front post double crochet like so and that was round I believe number three. So it, it you really can't see it too much. Maybe you can see it better in the camera than I can here in the light. Um, but we're gonna move on and the next round we're gonna start doing some crossover work and this is going to then create that look that you love on these hats. So in the next round what we're going to do is we're gonna start doing the crossovers, okay? They're gonna go right from one section to another and we're gonna do three in a row and then come back. This only happens when it's cabling. The other part just stays straight up. So if you're looking at the hat from the perspective of looking straight down, you see that you have the lines going straight up and then you see the other ones of the cable twist. So it's every other section just like you see. So what's gonna happen is that this is row number one of the pattern and this is row from two, three, four and five. Okay, so this just matches exactly what you see. So when we move up, what is front post is gonna stay on front post. What is half double crochet will stay half double crochet. These are the lines that are going straight up. This section here because you've expanded already is always gonna be the cable section always in the front post. Then that keeps that cable looking. This half double crochet stays half double crochet and you can see that it's just gonna maintain. Now it gets really easy. So on a piece of paper you need to write from one, uh, one two, three, four and five. So just remember one is the crossing over and so once we get this done with you I'm going to show you that you need to repeat and you need to grab a tape measure and get it to a certain height before completing the rest of this pattern. So let's uh, begin to do uh, the row number one of the repeat. So this is row number one of the repeat and you will come back to this spot every time you need to repeat one through five. Begin by chaining two and you're going to maintain. So the first section is just a straight line going up. The next section here is going to be the cable twist going straight up. You're gonna match exactly what you see. So the first uh, two are front post double crochets because that's what's already there. The next one is a half double crochet because that's what's already there. The next two is going to be front post double crochets. So you've just now continued that straight lines going right up and the next one is a half double. So here's what's gonna happen in this section here. We're going to do the crossovers. So there's six double crochets that are sitting there. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that we're gonna jump over and we're going to get the front posts of the fourth one over, then the fifth and sixth and then we're gonna come back and do one, two and three. So to do this is really quite simple. We are just going to do um, a double crochet going around or sorry crossing over. I apologize for that. And what we're going to do is that we're just going to just reach across okay and just go to the fourth one. So one, two, three it's the it's the second one of that middle one. This is the only time that they're gonna be together like this just so you know. So it's the, the second one there and you're going to double crochet. This is gonna make it lean over. You're then gonna wrap the hook and do the next one right after it. This is number two. You're gonna wrap the hook and do the third. Like that. So you've just skipped over the, fir the first three here and went right to the last three. So now you're gonna do the first three. So wrapping the hook, come to the front and do the first front post 
Okay, so it's the last one, or it was the, the furthest one away and you're gonna do that as a double crochet. You're then going to, I apologize, I just dropped a, my stitch, no big deal. Just love that about crochet. So we're gonna do the next one that's available to you. So wrap the hook and do the next one. And then wrap the hook and do the final one there. So all six have just been done like so. So you can see it's kind of crossed over at this moment. So the next one is right here. It's a half double crochet. I will repeat all of this one more time. So the this next section is without the twist in it at all. So you just match what's there. So there's gonna be two front posts in a row or sorry one front post in each of the two. And then the next one's half. And then the next two are front post double crochets. And then the next one's half. Like so. So the next one is the, the twist and I can see by the middle that I'm verified that's right. So I'm gonna wrap the hook first, go to the fourth one over, just reach right over and just double crochet around that front post and then do the next one. Okay, these three will be leaning this way and the, do the third one. Now you're gonna come back and do the ones you skipped. So go all the way to the first one and then do the next and then do the next. Just like so. So you can see that it's crossed over beautifully. So we're gonna continue then. The next one is just half double crochet. So what I want you to do is continue to go all the way around. This is round number one. You'll see that the cables are happening every other one and you get that nice flat surface in between. I'll see you at the end of this round. So at the end of this round, the final section here is a cable and if you're just maintaining the pattern, it will come up on anyway. You don't have to think twice about it. So you're just gonna apply that uh, cable twist over and these three and then go back and do those other three. Once you get used to this pattern, I have to say this, I've done this pattern before in tutorial format. Also done some samples of this uh, particular pattern. Um, this is not a hard, a hard pattern once you understand um, how it works and uh, how the stitches play together and then what exactly to look for. So once you have that final cable twist over, just remember then um, you just have to join it to the top of the beginning of the first one. Just like so. Okay, so that's it for that one. That was the first one of repeat and you'll be doing that every other, every time that you hit that from one through five. So let's uh, begin uh, rows number two, three, four, and five. Now rows number two, three, four, and five is the one in between and this is what separates the other one that com will come up. So this is number one once again. That's why I got a one here. So this is gonna be two, three, four, and five and you'll mark it off on your, on your list as you go. And so there's gonna be four rounds of this what you see. So what is in the front post here when the cable stays a solid front and in this other section here it maintains those straight lines going straight up. So let's uh, just get you started on this and this will be rows number two, three, four, and five. Chain up two, doesn't count as anything, it's a builder. The first two are front post double crochet. You're just maintaining what you already see. Okay, and then the next one is a half double. Make sure you go right into a stitch, not into a space or to be obvious on your project when you go to wear it. Okay. And then the next uh, two are front post double crochets. So this is the space going up into the hat that has no cable to it and the next one's a half. So the cable twist is in the next one. So each one of these you just gotta watch out for them. So you see that these are leaning over towards this side right where I'm wiggling and the other ones are here buried in behind. Well you can't see those ones in behind very clearly so you're gonna have to manipulate that in order to, for you to see them. You still have to get them in the front post so you have to get the first one just be a front post. Okay, you're gonna do the next one. Once you get that first one pulled out the next one should be right next beside it. You're gonna do that for a front post and then you're gonna do the third one. Okay, so just move things out of the way if you have to and those three just became the front post. This is what's creating that layering look. 
This sec, these three are just gonna be a regular front post double crochet. So one and you start on the first one and you just keep moving over. Okay, so this helps it give it that, that look that is classic for twisting. So then you just maintain the pattern is. So the next one is a half double crochet. I'll show this again. So the next group here is just the straight lines going straight up. Match what you see. And then the next one is a half double. The next two are front post double crochets. See it's easy once you get this pattern established because you know where you are. So this was a half double. So here's your next cable. So you can see that this is stopping you from seeing what's in behind. So we have to kind of manipulate it and get that first front post, the one in behind and make it a front post. So you just start in order. So one, there's gonna be three, this is two, and get that third one. Just move things around, move that hook back there, you'll find it. Don't wanna get the same one twice. There it is right there. Should wrap that hook first before you go back there though. <laughs> so there is that third one. You'll get used to seeing that. The nice thing about it, these don't twist over very often so you know struggling will not be very often because next time they'll all be straight up for you. Okay, so then you just continue to do front post double crochets in the, the other part of that cable. See that? So you're gonna continue along just like this and I need you to do row, uh, the next rows. So this is row number two, three, four, and five. So in the cables, when it's a cable, the whole thing is all just gonna be front posts. There's no twisting over. Once you get row number five, or round number five done, you're going to do number one again, which is gonna cross over just like you'd already had before. I'm gonna leave this for you now and I'm gonna do the rest of it up until number five once again and then I'll meet you back on one to make sure that you understand the, the twisting over and then I'll see you back here at that time. You're also gonna need a tape measure after that point as well. So when I last left you, I told you that I was gonna meet you on number five and I've done number five and here's what it looks like. So now we're ready to do the crossover again for number one. So you have to continue to repeat rows one through five over and over and over until you get to six inches tall on there. So you'll need a tape measure in order to do so. So when you get to close to six inches, you must stop on row number four. Okay, so you finish row number four and stop. The remaining of the top of this hat then carries from five, the next one up, then to get smaller as it starts to come around the top of the head. So let's uh, just quickly review again, or showing you what row number one looks like once again, and because this is what it looks like now, and then you'll um, meet me back at the top of the hat after you get your distance of six inches. You don't really have to do that much more, but uh, we'll have to meet you there, and I'll see you there in a second. So let me show you row number one once again. Let's begin round number one once again. So one and two doesn't mean anything, it's just a builder and we're just gonna match exactly what you see. So you can whistle Dixie as you go, no problem. Okay, so we're matching those lines up and then um, half double crochet in the next and matching. So this one never changes until we start rounding off the top of the head. Okay, so that's, you can count on that. The next one's a half double crochet. So the next one here is, because this is number one, this is exactly the crossover that you see down here. So again, you're going to wrap the hook and you're gonna skip over four and go to the fifth. Okay, sorry, skip over three and go over to the fourth. Okay, and you're gonna do a front post double crochet. It's gonna lean over. You'll do the next one right beside it and the next one, there you go. You're then gonna come back to the very first one of the three and cross over and do that one. and do the next, and do the next, like so. So do you see the crossing over in that neat? So then you carry on then half double crochet into the half double crochet that's already there. Okay, and then we carry on. So this is the straight going up so you match it. So you've already known how, to, we've already shown how to do this and uh, it's just a matter of carrying on. And so this is round number one again and you'll repeat runs through five. Okay, so let's just uh, review that one last time. Make sure that you got it. So the next one's a half double crochet and here is the cabling that you can see running into. So then the fourth one over, just front post double crochet. The next one after that 
and the next one after that. Okay, it gives that look and then we're gonna come back and get the very first one we skipped over. At least in crochet this is a lot easier to do than it is in knitting. Knitting's not hard, it's just quicker to do it in crochet. So then you can see it just crossed over and then you carry on. So continue now this. So this is round number one, then go two, three, four, and five. So then you're gonna grab your tape measure and then you're going to then measure up six inches from the base here to about six inches but you must stop on row number four. So when I catch you uh, up on the next time I'm gonna be finished number four. I'll have my close to six inches. It'll probably be close to it and then we'll carry on and we'll start shaping the top of the hat together. I'll see you there in just a moment. When I last left you we were finishing up round number four. So I've got my six inches done here and this should be number four completed. If you've gone to five it's too long. So what's gonna happen is if you've gone to five we still need to keep these uh, twists in balance and so if we're finishing on round number four it'll make sense. So what's gonna happen here is we're back at the sheet and we still we still have to go around the top of the head now. So we cannot continue to go up unless you got a cone hit, right? So what you have here is that we have to start eliminating stitches. So this is round number four that you see here and you'll notice that I put an X here. These are stitches that we're gonna be taking out. I want you to notice something else too. This row right here is the row that does not have the cable in it. You notice that we're gonna be eliminating stitches more in this rows than we are in the cable twist itself. So as you come around to the top of the head here, these will, uh, spaces here will get narrow and these will come around the top. Now if you're doing the messy, messy bun hat, the last two rounds that you see here will be missing and you'll stop on round number eight and if you're doing the full hat then you'll continue on to number 10 to bring it to a close at the top. So that's the only really difference between the two. So let's uh, move on to the first round of shaping the top and that's right here and that has an X in it and uh, that means that we're gonna be eliminating stitches at that point. So let's begin that round. So let's begin eliminating stitches. We're gonna chain up two. Remember it counts as nothing and we're going to eliminate one stitch in each of these ones that just travel straight up. We're not gonna worry about the cable twist area just in the ones going straight up. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna skip over the middle one here and we're gonna eliminate it out. So let's uh, continue and the first two are gonna be front post double crochets as normal and you gotta pretend that middle one is gone. Okay, so just pretend it doesn't exist and go right over to the next one here and bring that together. Do you see that? So you just went right over top as if it wasn't even there and now you got front row, um, uh, front post double crochets and you'll see that they're kind of bunching together. So you're gonna continue then the pattern as normal so the next one's a half double crochet and the cable is gonna just continue on as is. So it's all just front post double crochets moving across that. In the next uh, round what we're gonna do is that we're going to um, do the crossover again in order to stay balanced within the distance that you're gonna be doing with that. So let's just uh, recap again. So the next one here is the half double crochet right after to keep balance and here's the next one coming up. So the middle one pretend it doesn't exist anymore and front post double crochet in the first two. Skip that middle one and just front post in the next uh, two there and that will eliminate one stitch from that section. So continue that same process going around for the first round of shaping the top. So I've just finished this last round and now we're gonna move up. Now uh, what I wanna show you here, see the X? That means that I've eliminated that stitch. So you see that there's a gap space right above it. it means that you're not skipping over anything anymore. Uh, we've just done it here but that means that this stitch here no longer exists. So anytime that I put an X it means that the stitches no longer exist so that you really cannot move forward from that. So as we move up now to the next round what's gonna happen is we're gonna do our crossovers again and we're not eliminating any stitches at this point. We're just gonna maintain exactly what's already there and so therefore the next round after that we'll put two together and then we'll continue on in that same fashion. So let's carry forward and let's go on. Chain two counts as nothing and then we're gonna double crochet the first um, four, right? Because the, the X was already there. We eliminated one stitch last time and so this now is just a solid going across a front post double crochet like that. So now in here is the cable twist. So we're gonna still do our cable twist. The next one is a half double crochet to stay balanced and so we're gonna do our cable. So one, two, three, go to the fourth over and do your crossover stitch as you had been before. Okay and then come back and then do the first ones to catch back up. 
you really do get used to working this kind of pattern once you get in the swing of it. Okay, so once you've done that, half double crochet the next and then you're staying in, staying in balance. So then see these four? They're just regular front post double crochets this time. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that half double crochet to split them off like you were before because we're now we're losing stitches and we're getting smaller for the top of the head. So the next one again is a cable. So it's just half double crochet the first one and then cross over. One, two, three and go to the fourth. And then cross over and go backward to the first one. Just making sure I'm getting the right stitches when I do that. And then once you've done your crossover, the next one right after is a half double crochet. So please continue to do that same pattern all the way around. So moving now up and now we're gonna eliminate another stitch. So what's happening here in the ribs that are just going straight up, not the cable work, but we're gonna eliminate and make the two middle ones into one. So we're gonna do front post um, two together in order to make it into one. So each time we hit that, we're going to be eliminating another stitch at that point. Let's move along in this pattern. So let's carry forward. We're gonna chain two, counts as nothing, and the first one is a front post double crochet. And then the next two posts are gonna be put together, okay? So how we do that is that we wrap the hook and we go into the first one, pull through, pull through two and hold. Okay, do not finish it. Wrap the hook going into the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold, and then pull through all three. So those two just became one. And so then you'll front post double crochet the next one that's in there. So four will become three. So then you carry on as the pattern has suggested and just uh, again we're just finished that twist uh, last one was the the new twist. So then it's just a matter of just manipulating it in order to get those stitches in behind. You do get used to doing it. I know I did for sure. Not always perfect uh, first time out as you can see. <laughs> kind of looking like a fool on camera but it wouldn't be a first time for me. So there you go. So you got that one side and then you do the other just like as as is and this is uh, allowing you to have that nice twist look but you're also eliminating stitches at the same time. So in the next one it's just a half double crochet as, as you normally have been doing and so then here's your next set of ribs. So you're gonna make four into three. So the first one is gonna be a front post double crochet. The next two are together so going in pull through, pull through two and hold. Next one pull through, pull through two and hold, pull through all three and then front post double crochet the next. So three or sorry four just became three. Please do that same thing all the way around. So now moving up once again. So now we've just put two together as you can see in the last round. Now this round we're not gonna do anything special. We're just gonna maintain what's already there. So these are just front posts. There's no crisscrossing going on and we're just maintaining. So these two that came together we're just giving it time to relax a little bit and then we're gonna carry on. So this round number four is that we are just going to carry on and just match exactly what we see. Let's begin. So as I just stated we're just gonna match what we see. So we're just gonna see what we have and uh, the front post double crochet. Remember these two just became one so you go around what appears to be both of them for a front post double crochet and the next one. Do You see that? So you're giving it time to relax in order to pull in. You can really see that on the camera I think. So then the next ones here are just front posts. Uh, that's a half double crochet and then these here are just front post double crochets giving that twist time in order to get that absolute fabulous look that you have. So these twists as, as you can see it does take a few rows for it to really get that look but once you get it it looks absolutely incredible. So again as you finish up your twist here with the front post double crochets the last one after that is a half double and then you're back here again. So the first one is a half sorry front post double crochet. These two were already together so you're just gonna go around what appears both of them front post double crochet and carry on just like that. Okay, so please do that round. Or please do that all the way around. Okay, so we just finished the last round. We were just maintaining what you already see. Now this round number five, see we're gonna have three 
together front post double crochet. So uh, front post double crochet three together and so that's gonna happen here. So we're gonna start really eliminating some stitches out and then you'll see that we're really gonna start really pounding this out. So let's move on for round number five and each time you hit these main sections here you're gonna really notice it's gonna curve around the top of the head at this point. So let's begin that. So let's begin. We're going to chain two counts as nothing. So the first three front post double crochets are gonna come together with uh, bringing them three together. So wrap that hook going into the first one, pull through, pull through two and hold it. So you're gonna continue again to the next one. Do the same thing. And then the next one. Bring all three together like this. You'll have four loops in the hook. Pull them all together. So those three just became into mass one. So this there, section right here is going to remain the same. So the next one's a half double crochet. So we're only eliminating right in the middle of that strip area going up and then this cable twist area is just all still the same. We're gonna start eliminating stitches soon out of this section here to bring it to the top of the hat as well or top of the head. Okay, so we're continuing along. We're just gonna review again one more time on eliminating stitches. So the next one is just a half double crochet after you do that cable area. Okay, so then these three just became one. So just going in, grab that first one, collect it and the second one going and collecting it like that and pull through all three and those three just became one. Please do that same thing going all the way around. So I want you to look at the top of the hat and see this striping area that kind of went up. It's all, all out of space now. There's only one stitch left. So as we come around to the top of the hat now, let's look back here at the pattern. So at the pattern what's happened is that we have now just eliminated all these stitches out and now for the remaining of this area it's just one stitch left. Even if it's the messy bun hat when we go to finish it off in round number eight you can still this still exists. So now what we're gonna do is go and attack the other side now the cables and start eliminating stitches out to bring that more narrow in order to bring this into full balance. So let's uh, begin and in the next round what we're going to do is that we're going to eliminate it out of the cable area. So the two middle are the sorry the four middle ones two of them will become together and the other two will become together and you'll see that every time that we do that. So let's begin to do that next. So let's begin and we're gonna chain two. Remember it counts as nothing and we're gonna do a front post double crochet around this group of three that you see you see there right below you. So just go around and you're gonna do the front post double crochet. So that just begins to bring this to a nice point. So now the next one is a half double crochet as it normally has been all along. So we're not eliminating there. So now the group of uh, six that you have, the four middle ones are now going to be affected. So the first one remains unchanged with the front post double crochet. The next two are gonna become together as one. So just start collecting those and bring those two together. Just like that. You already know how to do that. So bring those two together and the next two you're gonna bring those two together now too. So you're gonna eliminate two stitches out of this section and then the last one remains unchanged with just a front post double crochet. So six now just became four. Okay so let's just continue and move up. So now it's a half double crochet. This here is just a half double, uh, sorry front post double crochet around the group of three. Okay and the next one is a half double crochet and then here's your cable again. So you're looking for the four middle ones. So the first one remains unchanged. The next two become together. The next two of that after this become together as well. And then the next one, the last one is just one by itself. So six just became four. So please continue that same thing going all the way around. You're gonna notice that it's getting less and less stitches so you're getting quicker and quicker. So back to the sheet again. So we've just eliminated a number six. We eliminated the two middles. Okay so two just became one on both sides of the, the cable twist. So in the next round number six is, sorry I apologize, number seven is that it's just gonna match exactly what you see. So you're giving it time to, to go. Now if you're doing the messy bun hat you just got one more row after that as well or one more round after that. So you're almost done that as well. But everybody else is almost done if they're doing the full version too. So we're just gonna match exactly what we see for round number seven. So let's begin round number seven, chain two, doesn't count as anything and then you're gonna front post double crochet around the first one. Okay and then you are going to half double crochet in the next. 
So you're just giving these four that you had it still looks like see these two are now one. So one and two. So you just wanna match exactly what you see. So the first one's front post double crochet. The next one looks like it's grouped of two. So you just go around what appears to be both of them. And then you go around the next one which appears to be two coming together. And then you go around the next one. So there's four. Okay, so it gives it time to really kind of compress and really gives the visual look. The next one's half double crochet. The next one is a front post double crochet and half double crochet and here we are in the cable once again. Okay, so the first one is a front post double crochet. The next one looks like there's two there but it's together remember. Front post double crochet do the same with the next and the next. Please do that same thing going all the way around. So let's carry on to round number eight. I just finished round number seven. So round number eight we're gonna eliminate two things. The middle one of the cable is gonna become two together and we're gonna eliminate your half double crochets out. Okay, so two together there and you no longer have to worry about your half double crochets. I think you're probably really happy about that. So if this is the messy bun hat this is your last round and then you can fasten off and then you can uh, style it to wear and if you're doing the full hat you still have two more rounds to go but you're almost done that too. Let's begin. So let's begin. We're gonna chain two. Remember it counts as nothing and then we just front post double crochet into the first one. So normally we would have done a half double crochet after this. We're not going to. We have the four cables here. So the first one of the four is gonna be a front post double crochet. The next two of the four are gonna be coming together. So we're gonna bring those two together and then the next one's by itself. So those cables now four just became three. We skip that next half double crochet completely and go right to the front post double crochet there. Let's quickly review again. So we skip the next half double crochet and we have four in a row. The first one's by itself. The next two are together. And then the next one is by itself. Please do that all the way around for round number eight. So this is the conclusion of round number eight. This is the finale of the messy bun version of this particular twist uh, hat. So you'll fasten off and then weave in your ends and you're left with a hole in the top for the bun to fall out at the top. So that would be it. So if this is the other video of continuing along with the, the twist hat we're gonna carry on for two more rounds but if you are the bun hat I'm gonna leave you here and have a great day and we'll see you again real soon and others if this is the other video of the full hat just stay tuned. I'll finish the last two rounds with you together. So back on the chart for round number nine. Nine we're going to eliminate these cables. There's now only three of them there and we're gonna bring them together as three together just like so and there's only just uh, one front post double crochets. The X means that these half double crochets are gone so we're just gonna skip right over top of that and really bring it, bring it in. So let's go on for round number nine. So let's begin round number nine. Chaining up two counts as nothing and then front post double crochet around the first front post double crochet. So the three, uh, the four, uh, the three cables that you see these two are together. All three of them are gonna come together. So wrap the hook, go around the first and start collecting them as you go. So it's gonna be three together. The middle one looks like it's two. Just go around that one and go around the last one. Okay and then pull through all of these just like that. Okay so just immediately jump to the next front post double crochet. This is really gonna pull it in. Let's do the next one. So here's your cable. So just make them all together. Okay the middle one looks like there's two there. Just go around that and go around the next one and then go through all and continue that same pattern going all the way around for round number nine. Moving on to the final round you just brought three into one last time and now it's just gonna be one, 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 one and one. Once you get that done you're just gonna use the final strand pull everything together at the top, weave it in and then you can put a pom pom on the top if you wish. Let's finish round number ten. So let's finish this round number 10. Chain up two counts as nothing. So the first front post double crochet is just gonna be one. Just like that. Okay these three came together as one last time. That's just gonna be one this time. Okay for all front post double crochets to keep that in balance. The next front post double crochet is just gonna be one by itself. Okay these three became one before so now that's just one again. And so you can see that it's really just pulling together quite nicely at the top like so. So you're gonna be left with the little hole at the top but we're gonna use a darning needle in order to close that off at the top as I talk to you and as we go around this. There's only just a few stitches on this round 
all together. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to show you how to close it off in order to get it to look completely perfect at the end. So you, in this particular pattern you've learned how to do cable work. Um, you've learned how to eliminate stitches and keep everything in balance. And uh, I think you've done a pretty good job if you've got this far so far. Uh, I'm pretty proud of myself too. This was one of the very first projects I've ever done uh, in my history many a uh, year or so ago of doing cables that I absolutely loved. Once you get all the way back around just join it to the top of the first one that you had started with. Okay and that's it. So you're still left with a small little hole. So let's just trim this yarn enough that we can get a darning needle through it and being able to close it off. So just pull it through like so and then just get a darning needle. So we'll do that here while I have your attention. So just get a darning needle. And what you wanna do is that you wanna get the top of the head, uh, the hat and you just wanna go in a complete circle. Okay, so just going around Okay, and just going in like a whip stitch in these stitches. I pull it tight at the end. I don't pull it as I go. Therefore I'll get a nice balanced um, tug at the end. Now Karen Simply Soft is a very strong um, premium fiber. You'll find that it's uh, very hard to break with your hands when you, if you tried to pull on it. So it's one of those really kind of long lasting yarns that you'll be able to find on the market. So that you can enjoy this hat for a long time. So I tend to go right back into the very first one I started with and then I just pull it all shut. Okay, so I just pulled it and then I just go across diagonal. Okay, and then I go back in and then I go diagonal in the other way. I wanna close that top. If you're gonna put a pom-pom on the top you can probably be a little more sloppier with it but I don't intend to. Once you're done just go straight into the project. Just don't stab yourself. So go right straight into the project and have it come out to the inside like so. And then what you wanna just do is just go in some of the fibers on the inside just to be able to put the tie on the inside of the hat instead of the outside so nobody ever sees it. Cause people may not see that they see the tie in your hat but I'm sure people notice it and they're just po too polite not to say anything which is a good thing really. So now that you've got that tied you have one more thing to do if unless you're gonna do the pom pom. Uh, we have a video on how to do pom poms if you want that. So the very first strand what you need to do is put that into a darning needle and you just have to weave it in some of the stitch work just to get rid of it and out of the way. Stay toward the back side of the project so that you don't interfere with the outside look. So stay on the outside or sorry stay on the inside of the project like this and just weave it in as many times as you feel comfortable with doing. Once you've done that you can safely trim and this is how we've done this hat. This is the cable twist hat. Um, I think it's a really great uh, pattern and uh, you'll see that it takes shape to your head really quite nicely and I think that you'll enjoy it at the same time. So till next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.